Okay, so let's rewind to about May of this year. I made this video about my Canon 70D, why I still use one in the year 2020, and why I like the 70D in general. That video got almost 10,000 views. It's growing every single day in views. That's crazy because I've never gotten a video that has gotten that many views. I know it's not a lot, but it's a lot for me. And I just want to say thank you all so very much for that. But seeing that the community and you all really like that video, I thought I would make another video showing you all how I set my Canon 70D up. My preferences when it comes to the menus, to the picture style, to the autofocus that I shoot on, I thought that I would show you all those things just in case you have a 70d i know there's not a lot of us out there but just in case you own one of these and you know you're kind of struggling trying to figure out how to how to make really good quality photos so without further ado let's go ahead and get straight into it i'm going to be showing you all um, my preferences with the canon 70d how i set it up for great okay guys so here we have my canon 70d um, turning it on, the first thing that I want to show you all is that I always shoot in manual. Manual is the best way to learn photography, to get used to aperture, shutter speed, ISO, all of those different settings shoot in manual. Um, the second thing is that you want to shoot in RAW. I know that the files can get very big, but RAW ensures that you can get the most out of your photo, especially going back and editing it. Um, the big files, those are definitely a blessing. This is a personal thing, but image review I always turn off because to me it takes up time when I'm shooting an event or something, you know, big. Um, it's just a personal preference. You should try it. Um, the next thing, white balance. I kind of switch between auto and daylight white balance. Um, you know, doesn't really matter. It's up to your preference. I don't mess with white balance a lot, but daylight is pretty good. Color space. Um, doesn't matter to me. I just sRGB. I think that's the default and exposure compensation I try and use aperture shutter speed ISO um, to get the best so I don't have to use exposure compensation um, Picture style though as you all can see I do neutral and it's zero zero negative three negative one So this is kind of like shooting flat in video um, it allows you to when you're editing your photos to get the best colors so that Everything's not oversaturated when you do try and edit. It gives you a nice starting point. Um, you should try it if you haven't. It's kind of hard to explain, but I think you'll understand once you try it for yourself. So those are my settings. If you want to copy those down, definitely give it a try. Um, I really like shooting with that picture style. Um, after that, all of these are kind of up to your personal preference. Touch shutter, um, all of those different things. Grid, up to your preference. Silent shooting, um, yeah. It's up to your preference. So the next thing, as you all can see, I'm struggling here. Um, I want to talk about autofocus. The 70D has three types of autofocus. They have one point, they have zone, and they have 19 point. I use the 19 point autofocus. I find it to be the most accurate. I know some people can um, use the zone autofocus, but I use 19 point. But that is how I set up my Canon 70D. Hope you all enjoyed that. Okay, so I hope you all enjoyed that video. I know that it was really quick, but I wanted to make sure that I got straight to the point. Um, let me know if you all can use some of these things in your own shooting techniques. Um, and I hope you all enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Have a great day.